Okay, so this is the last sort of steps that I take to preparing the zippered lining for the actual bag. So get your um, embroidery thread that you had, get your ribbon needle, get this little ruler. Now, like I said, you can use a uh, tape measure, but this is way easier, okay? So if you're looking at this, I'm, I'm looking at the, um, the inch side, not the centimeter side, just to be clear. So flip it to where you're using the tick marks on the inch side. And here's what I do. I'm gonna flip this around because I think it's just a little bit easier. So you want to keep marking the distance between my stitches. If you are proficient at embroidering and hand sewing, you may not need this step, but I'm really terrible at it. So I am creating little tick marks so I know how, to, how far apart to do the last step. So what we are going to be doing is creating um, back stitches every so often and those stitches uh, with the embroidery thread are what I am going to crochet through to join the last round so that it joins to the bag and it makes a really nice, um, I'll show you, it makes a really nice finish on the bag. Like you can't see any part of the lining popping through. You can't see any stitch really. I mean, it's, it's a nice way to finish your bag. This is the, the zippered lining that I just showed you how to make. And you see how nice these seams really look. And that is why I do it this way. So you don't have to, I don't guess, but this is the way I do it. All right, so I'm gonna start my tick mark about a half inch away from the edge. And you don't wanna go above your seam that you made with the sewing machine. Otherwise it'll show, in other words. Okay, so take your ruler and I'm going to make a tick mark every third mark. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. By the way, if you decided to use a dark zipper, I have, um, I purchased some paint markers that were like metallic, and those are about the only thing I could find that show up on black zipper, or like a navy zipper, or something dark. Okay, so when you're done, I think you should have 21 tick marks. So that means we will have 20 stitches to work with. Now, for this side, I don't use the ruler because it's too time consuming. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I just kinda come up here and see whereabouts that stitch is. And I do want them to be pretty close because if they're not, then the bag will become crooked. So it is kind of important. Okay, so these are just little guidelines. They aren't gonna show um, for where I'm going to be putting these back stitches. All right, so get you a length of embroidery thread about 12 inches. You're gonna want two of those. Obviously, we've got two lips of the zipper to work with here. You're gonna wanna make a knot at the very bottom of the embroidery thread. Not super close to the edge, but don't leave yourself much of a tail because you don't want to run out. So hopefully you can see that. Then you get your really sharp needle. Okay, and I usually start at the, the bottom of the zipper. It doesn't really matter. So you're going to start underneath here at the very first tick mark. So bring your uh, embroidery thread through till it hits the knot, okay? Then you're going to go through the top and then back up underneath to this one. So I'm really just going to go ahead and, see this is why I like having those tick marks. 
So I'm going to just pull it through this way. And that leaves a little hole there. So I'm going back. So now what I'm gonna do is put my needle in where that one ended and then come all the way up here. This is called a back stitch. So you're just gonna keep working in a backward forward motion. So backwards and forwards. Oh, and another thing that you wanna be very, very careful. Make sure you are only going through the fabric and the, the lip. Make sure you are not going into the bag because it will show up when you open your bag. Um, it looks really bad, so don't do that. Done it, <laughs> that's how I know. So your stitches also do not have to be perfect. These are absolutely not going to show. Another tip I'll give you, um, don't get embroidery thread to match your yarn. You will be tempted, but this is a tried and true thing for me. <laughs> um, I have used embroidery thread of the yarn before and the stitches showed up. You can see them a lot more. So I decided to switch it and that works much better. If you, for for some reason don't have embroidery thread the color of your zipper, by all means, do the color of the yarn at the top. But it just be advised it will show some more than it will by using the same color of the zipper. So basically what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna continue in this fashion until I am done with this side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now we are going to talk about how to join the zippered lining to the bag. Um, so I've got, you see the stitches there on both sides. When you turn it over, make sure it's not into the bag itself. Open it up. Make sure you don't have any stitches going through the bag. All right, so now you need to determine which side is the front and which side is the back to you. To me, that's the back. So I prefer my zippers to be to the left. You only have 20 stitches on each side to work into. We have 48 stitches in the brim. So we are going to have you know, eight stitches that are not in the zipper itself. So um, what I do, pinch your bag and find the, the sides. So I am going to join my yarn here and I'm going to do that with my F hook and my linen yarn. So, make your slip knot and find that spot again right here, okay? And join your yarn. I went ahead and took the lining out because I feel like you couldn't see what I was doing. But normally I would go ahead and <laughs> have the lining in while I do this. So, chain one and place a single crochet in that same stitch. I am going to put a single crochet, to, well, technically two at each end. So that takes care of four out of the eight. And we are going to skip two on each side so that they're not in this, the zipper as well to keep it even. So basically, I'm going to start with a single crochet and then I'm going to start crocheting through both the bag and those stitches that I made. Open the bag, stick your hand in it, push it down. And if you're worried about the tail of the last round, you can go ahead and hide it now because you're not going to be able to later. I don't care about it. I just kind of leave it. <laughs> All right. So looking at the bag here, at the, the zipper, here's the first stitch. So I'm going to put my hook through that next single crochet and through that first um, stitch that I made. All right, I'm gonna do that 
till stitch seven, I believe. So I've got two stitches here. I'm counting even the ones that I'm not putting through the zipper, if that makes sense. So that's stitch three. Stitch four. Stitch five. Stitch six. And on the seventh stitch, this is just what I've been doing, I'm just gonna crochet into the bag a single crochet. I'm not going to do it through both. And that, that'll be, you know, help keep it even. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to stitching into both. So that was stitch seven. So now we're at stitch eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, oops. And now you see why I'm using such a small hook too, because it's gotta get through the stitches that we made. I think I'm on twelve. Thirteen. And now I'm going to just do a single crochet in the fourteenth stitch. Okay? So this is stitch 15. Ah, sorry, I get aggravated. 16. 17. I hope you can see what I'm doing. 18. should be your last join to the zipper on this round or on this row or side or whatever you want to call it and then you're going to end with a single crochet just by itself and that should be 24 stitches you can go back and count and remember we started with a chain of 24 and then it doubled because we added a um, 24 on the other side so one side should be 24 stitches all right so now we're going to start the other side. So we started, we'll start this side just how we started the other one with just a single crochet by itself. So you'll have two cro single crochets by themselves on each end. So I went back and I put the single crochets into the zipper part, skipping appropriately um, for your bag, for the bag of 24 four or technically 48 stitches, 24 to each side. You're going to skip the first and last stitch on both sides and then two in the middle. And it can be any two that you choose. I chose to skip, um, and by skip I mean I didn't connect it, at, uh, but I did put a single crochet at the top of it. So I did six single crochets and then I skipped the seventh by just doing a single crochet and then I did seven more and skipped the next one. So just as long as you evenly skip on both sides, you should be fine. So it shouldn't matter what number you start or end with as long as you are equally skipping. I hope that makes sense. So now what I'm gonna do is iron because that looks terrible. I'm gonna iron it down. If you've got a zipper from Walmart, yours should not bunch up like that. It should be straight across unless you made yours too small. Um, which, by the way, if you if you made a bag and you find that your zipper is too big for your bag, say it was six inches instead of um, seven, what you could do is always uh, shorten your zipper, which there's tons of YouTube videos. You basically just sew and stitch around and around and around to give it something to butt up against and then cut off your zipper. So it's super easy um, if you need to adjust.